Welcome back. I hope you are feeling awesome. As a part of this lecture, we'll understand what are the different ways of inserting the data into hive tables. There are three ways of inserting the data into hive tables. One is standalone. Second one is through files. The third one is through other tables. Remember, when we say we are inserting the data into Hive, that doesn't mean that Hive stores the data. Whatever we do with Hive, the data is always stored in HDFS. Please do remember that point. Let us see all these three ways of inserting the data into Hive tables one by one. The first one is standalone. What do we mean by standalone? In the standalone mode, what we do is we'll go ahead and create a Hive table. Then within the same terminal, we'll type the data which need to be inserted into the Hive tables. That is why it is called as a standalone mode of inserting the data. Second and very important way of inserting the data into Hive is through files. That means we'll insert the data from files into the tables in Hive. Insert the data from files into Hive table, we got to create a Hive table. While creating the Hive table, you need to be careful. You need to ensure that you are creating the schema according to the data which is there in a file. And then after creating a table in Hive, you can insert the data into Hive tables from a either a local operating system or if you are working in a cloud from any bucket. For example, in our case, you can go ahead and insert the data from Google bucket. Apart from inserting the data from local operating system or a Google bucket, we can also insert the data into Hive tables from a file in HDFS. Remember, when you write a data into Hive, it is stored as a file in HDFS. So you can also insert the data into Hive from a file stored in HDFS. The next mode and the last mode of inserting the data into Hive table is from other tables. Assuming that you already would have created a Hive table. You would have created this Hive table by reading a data from a file. This has assumed some 100 columns. You would create one more Hive table with some 20 columns. It may be subset of this. Do you really need to go ahead and break this file or work on this file to take out this 100 columns and make them 20 columns then insert into the Hive table? Not required. You already have a Hive table created from these 100 columns by reading this file. All you can do is you can read the relevant data from this Hive table with 100 columns into a Hive table with 20 columns. Isn't it wonderful? Awesome. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful time.